Hi everyone, welcome to my channel again. So today we are learning macrame shelf and this is the pattern which I'm going to use in my pattern. I get so many DMs on my Instagram page that how we can make this leaf pattern for their wall hanging and for various other projects. So today I'm going to show you how to make these uh, this curve line and how to uh, make the leaves so let's get started so to make this pattern i have attached one two three four five six seven eight strings uh, using lux head knot if you don't know how to use lux how to do lux head knot you can refer to my uh, videos which i have uploaded previously so here i have attached eight cords and now we'll start uh, working on the same so we are going to make uh, a first curve here using double half inch knot i'm taking one two three four five sorry fifth cord we have to take and uh, we are going to make a line over here and these three we are going to leave aside so i'm going to work uh, this as my holding cord and all these except for these three as my working cord. So I'm just going to make a straight line over here. Sorry. Last. And these three cords we are going to leave. So we are leaving the three cords here. And this is the uh, one you know curve we have made using double half hitch knot and now we are going to make leaf over here so how we are going to do that we are going to start with the seventh chord from here one two three four five six and seven so here I am going to make leaf this will be my holding chord so here again I will make double half hitch knot over this using these six chords so one two one two one last one one and two so this is the upper part of the leaf and now we are going to make the lower part of the leaf so we'll take this cord as our holding cord and using these six cords we are going to make a line over here so I'm going to Keep it like this little loose and then again I'll make double half hitch knot using this. 
you have to give it a little bit of shape while working with these cords The last one. And then just make it like this so it will look better. So as you can see, you can see a leaf shape here. Right? Now similarly, now we'll get these three chords which we have kept aside, we are going to put it back. And then again, we'll make a curve like this using this cord and again we are going to leave three from here we are not going to work with these three cords we are going to keep it aside we are going to work with only these cords over this right so we can make it like this So we have made till here again we'll get down the three cords which we have kept aside and now using the seventh cord from here one two three four five six so again we are going to make leaf from this as a holding cord the leaf should fall down so we are going to make double half inch knot over here Again, we'll make one more leaf here. This is going to be a straight line uh, for now but later when you go to the uh, lower part of the leaf that time you can give it a little bit of shape so it look little curvy like a leaf. So here we can give it a little shape and again this is going to be my holding cord we are going to work with. One, two, three, four, five, six. Total seven. This is going to be my holding cord, and these six are going to be my working cords. Now, again, I'm going to give it a leaf shape. So, this pattern I'm using it in a shelf. If you want, you can make it as a wall hanging or uh, small wall hanging or even uh, you can make uh, you know table mats and um, you know runners using this pattern this looks really nice so we are done with one more leaf so this is how you can make this pattern again while 
going to this side we are going to leave one minute again while going this side we are going to leave these three we are not going to use this these three only with this cord we'll make a curve here and a leaf here again and same pattern we can repeat till the end so this is how your pattern looks like So now as you can see we have made three panels using uh, the leaf pattern. This is one, this is two and this is three. And in each panel I have made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight leaves uh, repeating the same pattern. And now in order to attach the shelf we are going to make these spiral knots. So for this I have taken here around uh, 125 inches cord each and uh, we'll keep one of the cords shorter like the middle cords has to be shorter these two cords are, has to be shorter sorry so these two cords which are in the middle has to be shorter than the left ones these two should be around 30 inches and the rest will go on the left because these cords will be as it is and we'll be working with the left and the right cord for the spiral cord for the spiral knot so for the spiral knot we'll take these two cords make a four put it over it and pull it through and do it like this and uh, in this we'll do only with the left side or if you are doing with the right side you have to do only with the right side uh, it's not like a square knot in that square knot we'll do one from the left and one from the right but uh, in the spiral knot we have to do it only from the left side so same thing you'll have to repeat So you can continue making this as per your desired length so this is uh, you will have to make so this is around 21 inches you can increase or decrease the size as per the length of these uh, leaves in your shelf and uh, if you want you can also attach a bead here I will show you how to do that so we want to attach a bead here so i'll take these two strings from from the middle i'll go to the end and i'll roll it like this you can even use a needle if you have and put the ends inside the hole and roll it and you can see the threads are coming from here can just pull it and then put it here after that again you can keep making your spiral knots like this so it has attached here now it won't go anywhere and you can just keep working till your desired length like this So as you can see I have made four uh, uh, spiral knots here uh, for the shelf, uh, two on both sides. They are around uh, 21 inches in height from both sides but you can adjust as per the length of your design. And now we are going to add the shelf here. Uh, plus all the uh, descript all the details about how many cords what are the measurements of the cords that I have mentioned in my description box so you can refer that so now we will see how to add the uh, shelf for shelf uh, this is my shelf and I as you can see I have holes 
on four sides so these four the the right one I will put it here and the back one I will put it here and uh, same way we will do from here also this one will go in this hole and the back one will go in the back hole and we have to balance it out so how we can do it is uh, suppose I'm taking this all the four cords will go inside this so you can take the ends of macrame cords together like this or you can even tape it together and then put it inside the hole like this like this and then from here we are going to tie a knot using all the knots this is a little tricky part but once you are done with like suppose you should do this and this first so that it will be balanced out keep your mobile and see whether it is balanced properly or not and then do it and here I am going to tie a knot it has to be like very close So this way we have to attach it you can even add tussles here if you want from the bottom side and then this is how it will be and your well hanging is ready you can keep uh, uh, anything for decor like uh, flower pots or candles or uh, you can even make mandir here so thank you for watching and have a good day it's a, a shelf with a spiral knot you can add tassels if you like so there are multiple ways you can use it so let's get started